Greetings, Earth people! I am author and ghost story Mike Ricksecker, but I am not going to talk tonight about the paranormal. I'm actually going to be talking about Pluto. And it is all kind of related if you think about it. Astronomy, astrology, the stars, the solar system, the inner workings of the universe, all kind of flows together. It's all symbiotic. There is a rhythm to the universe. So, this is related in some regards. And besides, I hold the exclusive right to say and talk about whatever I want to on my channel. The Haunted Road Media channel. <laughs> so, with uh, recent events here, with New Horizons uh, flying by Pluto, the, the closest it was ever going to come to it was uh, July 14th, first mission ever to reach the planet Pluto, and they are calling this the um, initial discovery of our solar system is now complete. And that's fantastic. When they launched this mission back in 2006, there wasn't really a lot of uh, fanfare for it. I mean, it, it was a you know satellite launch that said, we're going to Pluto. Uh, and that really had to do with the fact that you know, it was going to take nine years to get there. Um, now, it is the fastest that we've managed to get something out that far. Um, but, again, nine years kind of wears on people. They don't really think about it. Um, even for myself, you know, sure, I checked out the launch. I was actually one of those 400 and some odd thousand people that got the name put on the CD just because I somehow, somewhere along the way, picked up on it ahead of time. And so my name's on there somewhere, floating around in space. <laughs> you know, paid attention to the launch and, you know, then, you know, here and there over the years kind of checked in to see what was going on. And now it's finally reached there and the reason why it's become so popular is now we're finally seeing images and all of that and that's fantastic you know um personally you know astronomy and one of the reasons why i'm talking about this is astronomy is one of those uh hobbies of mine that i really enjoy um i've had a telescope since i was a little kid um you know i was always looking through the different planet books and stuff like that um and, you know went to planetariums you know always had that interest um, ironically enough, um, it was my sister that went to the space camp, <laughs> which is cool, and, and she had an uh, interest in that as well. So, um, so a, a family of, uh, of people that had an interest in space and the final frontier and, and uh, you know, exploring and seeing what's out there. Um, you know, I mean, my family is a uh, collection of travelers, going, you know, was moving about the country um, or mo moving about the world, well, space would have been a, another one of those goals to reach. So astronomy has always been there for me and it's something I've always taken an interest in. And so Pluto being that final planet in our solar system, um, you know, is something that I definitely jumped on board. Um, and, you know, when I was in uh, second or third grade, I also kind of, you know, was telling people that I was from Pluto. But, you know, that's a weird little kid. What are you going to do? Um, now, the problem here, and I'm, uh, I got a thing here called hashtag Pluto love. You know, let me go ahead and throw up the, uh, the pic here. I, I put that on my Facebook profile, tweeted it, all that stuff. I don't know if the hashtag will, um, you know, really get popular or anything like that. But it's something that I'm throwing out there because Pluto needs our love. It, it does. The, the whole, you know, heart thing... Um, heart shape that's on the planet is awesome so I've been calling that the heart of the solar system and yeah you know every <laughs> I think we all know about this ridiculous uh, notion that uh, Pluto has been reduced to a dwarf planet status um, and I understand the logic behind it and basically what that logic is is that um, there are other bodies within the uh, solar system that we've discovered um, over the last, you know, 20, 30 years that are very similar to Pluto in size and the way they orbit the sun. Um, you know, and those are out in the, uh, the Kipper Belt. That was discovered in the uh, early 90s. And it's a, you know, belt of uh, asteroids, small planets, dwarf planets, things like that, that are um, beyond Pluto. And so there are a number of objects within there that are very similar to Pluto. There's also a, uh, a couple of dwarf planets, um, you know, like Ceres, in the uh, asteroid belt that's between uh, Mars and Jupiter. 
So because they have these other objects that they are classifying as dwarf planets and you have Pluto which matches those characteristics, they reduce Pluto to dwarf planet status. Otherwise, what they, the other proposal was to make all of these regular planets within our solar system. So instead of having nine planets, now you're going to have like a hundred which, you know, is a little cumbersome to try to keep up with, so dwarf planets. That's all fine and dandy and fantastic, except those guys with the big brains that are, you know, thinking of, you know, all of this stuff have, of course, done what many in their field tend to do, and people of that type of intellect tend to do, and that is overanalyze the shit out of it. You know, it's pretty freaking simple, okay? There is a difference between Pluto and these other dwarf planets. And that is, Pluto's out there by its lonesome. It's got a couple of its own moons, but it's not in the Kipper Belt. It's not in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It's on its freaking own. So, why do we have to reclassify it as a dwarf planet? Just because it's the same size as this other stuff. Um, you know, which some of the larger asteroids are the same size as these things. Um, you know, it's, it's, Pluto is on, it's, it's not in the Kipper Belt, it's just before it. It's like Neptune, Pluto, the moons around Pluto, and then the Kipper Belt. Um, you know, and, and these things don't have to be perfectly round either. I mean, um, like I just came back with some imagery of uh, the moon Hydra around Pluto. And, you know, it always came up real fuzzy and they couldn't ever really get like a clear, real good, you know, picture of it or an idea of what it looked like or anything because of the way it kept coming back and now with some of the imagery that's come back from New Horizons they now know why that is and that's because it is a weird just I mean, just think of your think of a you know an awkward looking asteroid that's what Hydra is but yet it's a moon why because it orbits Pluto um, so that makes it a moon even though it's weird looking but my point is, is that, you know, Pluto love. I want to give some love to Pluto. I think it should be restored as a ninth planet. Um, I don't think that because there are other objects within the solar system that are, are the same size as it and orbiting the sun like it, that we therefore have to make Pluto a dwarf planet because Pluto, again, like I said, is on its own. I think that's a logic that you can use to keep it as a planet status. Everything else is surrounded by all kinds of crazy shit that's going on out there in the Kipper Belt and in the uh, in the asteroid belt. There's, you know, lots of stuff. And in fact, one of the things that New Horizon is going to do now that it's flown by Pluto and it's sending back all kinds of, you know, imagery and test results and things like that, is it's going to go to a couple of those objects and then it's going to shoot off into deep space to join the Voyagers out there. So we're going to get a, a, a closer idea of what's out there um, but please you know share it out uh, Pluto love uh, if you want to make your own image I, I just kind of threw it together real quick um, you know took the part that was on the planet and you know kind of popped that out made it red pink well red border pink in the middle <laughs> but uh, there are far better artists out there than I you know run with it and just hashtag Pluto love because that's what I'm going to do, because I'm weird like that. <laughs> so that's really all I got. That's my um, solar system space lore for this evening. Um, not quite wine, not quite uh, coffee, like the little things that I usually talk about. Or, of course, the paranormal, which I have not talked about at all in this. So next time, though. <laughs> next time, we'll get back to, uh, to all of that. So... If you like this video, if you found it informative, please go ahead and click that thumbs up. Those are always appreciated. If you have some comments uh, you know, or you want to discuss this a little bit, please leave comments below um, or on Facebook. I get a lot of comments on Facebook, too, that I address. And by all means, if you have not yet, please subscribe. Until next time.